Well, I just realized that whole time, thank you for making the comment, that I forgot to turn my damn mic on. <laughs> so anyway, my bad there. Uh, first live stream, you know, we're going to have a little bit of uh, a little bit of issues there. But anyway, as I was saying, uh, we're really getting started here tonight with Ryan. We want to get to know Ryan. We're going to get to know uh, KRC Kyvers, what they're about, uh, get a little bit of information on that. Get to see that new release that uh, that he's been kind of teasing about a little bit here and there, um, and also let you see what it looks like firsthand. I managed to get my hands on on one already, uh, specifically for this live stream. So I want to be able to give you guys that opportunity to be able to see it. So we've got some good uh, screenshots, some pictures of it uh, that we're going to show you, and uh, including something that uh, I literally just found out about today that he's going to make available to you guys as of tonight on his Etsy page. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring Ryan on so we can get to talking with him and you know, get to know the man that uh, that is making all this for us. So go ahead and get him on there. How are we doing tonight, Ryan? Oh, not doing too bad at all. Uh, really excited about this new Kyber that you got. Uh, got some people on here. It looks like we got uh, a few viewers on here. So, you know, I know with it being our, our first real live stream of being able to, to chat with you and talk to you about this, uh, you know, kind of going get to get to see some things here. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do more of these in the future with you, depending on how this turns out. All right, well, uh, tell you what, why don't you give us a little insight? Why don't you tell us a little about yourself and uh, about KRC Kybers, how you came about, um, you know, things like, you know, where your ideas come from. Just kind of give us a little bit. I got I got it back on for you. I, I think part of it was on my side. I'm sorry. I got too many things going on at one time right here, trying to keep everything going. So. <laughs> great, great. Um, looks like that people are still saying they can't quite here is let me, let me bring the audio track in the background down a little bit and see if I can't bring you up some to uh, give you a little bit a little bit better uh, go ahead and talk for us I'll see if they can hear you some waiting to see any responses from anybody Hopefully the, uh, the audio feed is going through. All right, give me just a second. We're going to bump him up some. Oh, I was saying we got nothing coming through for that. That... That sucks. Okay, we're going to do this a different way then to make sure that we can hear you. So hold on just a second. All right, let's try it again. Can you guys hear him now? Let's try it. Hear me, just That's punchy, Chewy. Anyone hear me? Test, test, test. All right. 
we'll have to figure out what uh what the quirks are for that you know again being our first time i i've got him on my end but trying to get it to feed through to you guys uh have to kind of play with things a little bit so that's on me my apologies i'll get it straightened out a little bit better for next time um so anyway uh as you were saying um Again, give it. Let's go back and give us a little bit about about KRC again, if you can for me. Oh, well, hopefully someone can hear me. But uh, I, uh, me and KRC is me and my kids, uh, Kate, Colt, and Ryan. Uh, we, we went down on a trip to Disney. They had seen custom Kybers from all sorts of other makers, um, and decided they had their own ideas, and we just kind of went with it. Great. Um, I, I've seen pretty much just about everything that you've made so far. Um, if anybody's looking, they're curious of, of some of the kybers that are there on my page that this uh, that this is being streamed from. Um, I do have photo albums set up in there that has all the uh, kybers that have been crafted by Brian um, that is on his e his Etsy page. Also, stuff that may not be there that's prior release stuff and. If you look at those pictures on the page, you'll actually be able to take and click on the links that are there. It'll take you directly to the locations on his Etsy page where those can be purchased if you so choose that you want to get one of those. Um, so just keep that in mind. We'll be updating that uh, continuously as new things come out, anything that gets added to the page, so that, that way you can get all the, the great stuff that Ryan's making for everybody. So... Um, Let's go ahead and, and, and see, is any, any are there any questions that any of the guys viewing um, have that you want me to ask Ryan? And I know we got a little bit of delay here, so um, we're gonna have that, that, that pause a bit there in between if they have anything. Can they hear me yet? Yes, they can all hear you now. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I just, I, I'll have to work all the bugs out and everything to figure that out a little bit better for next time. Well, I don't see any questions popping up, so um, I'll go ahead and ask you the next question I have, but and that is, what what helps to inspire you on your your Kyber ideas? Like, where do your ideas come from um, that you have? Um, well, there's two different sides to it. You've got the uh, design side, which is something that is a lot of trial and error, experimentation. Um, playing with my kids. I mean, kids have great ideas, you know. Uh, and then for the lore side of things, I tend to rely a lot heavy on uh, what they call now Star Wars Legends. Uh, I'm a big fan of Knights of the Old Republic, Knights of the Old Republic 2, uh, The Force Unleashed, a lot of um, the old expanded universe, uh, which is where I like to draw a lot of that inspiration from because it's so rich and it's uh, my entire childhood. I grew up in the... Uh, I was born in 84, so I grew up in the 90s. I'm used to all the Power of the Force collectibles and that expanded universe where we only got to see Luke as a Jedi in our mind. So that's where I like to go for a lot of that. Great. Uh, I, I know that, uh, I mean, there's there's a a huge universe of things out there for you to be able to make stuff from. And one of the questions that we have on here, because uh, that was a question that was actually asked by... Uh, Jackson Miller, where you get your ideas from. Um, another one uh, from uh, Will Windsor, he asked, when, you're, when are you going to let your kids make another one? My uh, my daughter has one called the Fallen Angel Kyber that uh, we're going to be working on uh, in the next week or two uh, that has gold, white, and silver, I believe, with maybe a hint of black. Uh, she has made a whole page of what she wants to do. Uh, so we're going to be doing a lot more with the kids' ideas coming up. Um, they definitely helped with the limited edition one. You'll be able to tell on some of them which one my daughter helped a little bit more than others, too. Uh, and I'll explain that more later. <laughs> All right. Um, also got a question. That, let's see where next one at. Oh, another one from Will Windsor was... Uh, what is your favorite character saber? Uh, my favorite character saber, probably Star Killer's exposed Kyber Chamber uh, saber. Uh, he had like 
12 lightsabers throughout the games, but uh, that one's definitely my top one. That's on my bucket list of uh, sabers one day. Great. Yeah, I, I have, I've got, I just got the, the saber book that was available that I literally just oh. came in the mail today. Um, I actually have it up underneath my dark saber up on the wall. So I'm, I'm going to get in there and dig into it and really take a look at a lot of the, the sabers that are there that, you know, are part of that extended Legends universe that I don't know about. So I'm, yeah. I'm interested to see those. The texts are great. Uh, behind me, actually, here, this entire shelf. Oh, there goes Darth Revan. I just knocked him down. But uh, he'll come back. Don't worry. He's fine. These are all books I have for reference because I love the expanded universe. I'd say 75% of that is expanded universe, uh, the rest being new trilogy uh, and prequel stuff like that, official stuff. You know. Gotcha. Well, he's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, another question here. Uh, what type of machines do you use to make your kyber? Um, is that come from Michael Hill? I don't use any machines outside of a resin printer that I use to make a proprietary uh, insert for my chips. Outside of that, it's silicon molds and uh, epoxy resin. And lots of love. Lots of love and time. I, I've, I've, as you know, you and I have talked before. I dabbled a little bit in uh, in making some kybers, and yeah, it, it helped me to get a new appreciation for the, the kind of stuff that you guys as crafters are making. Um, the time invested in it, the money invested in it, and just trying to come up with the ideas and trying to make those ideas work. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of trial and error out there. Uh, and there's some amazing guys who do amazing things with molds. Uh, Tinker's Cove, Corey Stevenson, is one of my, like, favorite makers. This guy does amazing things yep. with shapes. Uh, his pearl is... Speaking uh, of his, I got one right there. That uh, That's one of the ones he just released recently that uh, oh. came with a little magnetic stand. So I've got, I got started getting some of his stuff as well. <laughs> he actually took... He, uh, he's pretty amazing. He, he had a running joke. Between him, me, and a few others uh, about the most powerful kyber in the world, which would be the hashtag, hashtag kyber. So you have the actual hashtag and then the word hashtag. Uh, and he sent me a pearl he made where he engraved a hashtag inside of it and then sealed over. It's like, it's over and hidden away because I don't even want my kids to ever try and seal it. It's my, one of my most treasured possessions. <laughs> yeah, I uh, luckily enough, my kids are old enough that I don't have to worry about that, so... I, you know, I've got all my kybers back here on the shelf and stuff that I don't have to worry about them coming and grabbing. So, um, let's see. So, just looking for an, any other questions that might be on here. I do have one from Will. I, I was a little hesitant on asking this one here just because of uh, recent releases, but I mean, he does have a good point, and that is, uh, I guess, uh, about nine months ago. He had asked for a, a Soka Invader Tiber, and it never got made. He, I guess he had mentioned it to you or something. He was just wondering why it never got made. You know, I get hit with so many ideas all the time. I guess I don't remember a Soka vs. Vader right off the top of my head, Will. But, um, Joe Crafted just did one, and odds are... That pairing alone would probably look very different if I'm guessing from your style, because I know you've got a pretty unique style. Um, yeah, hit me up later. We'll talk. Great. And that's one thing, guys, uh, that, that I have found um, is Ryan is really good about if you have an idea of something that you want made, bring it to him. I mean, he, case in point, we're going to talk about it tonight. The contest that he has we're going to show the finals for the contest that he did and uh he's one of the few crafters out there now that will do custom requests and do it for a really reasonable price as well so um i know people are really wanting to get to this kyber they really want to see this kyber so um 
I will ask this one question that just popped up before we go there, and this will be the last question that I'll ask. And this came from uh, JB, and it says, do you think that you will ever do a team-up with any of the other crafters? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have done, uh, I was doing uh, the cases with uh, Chris Stapleton before he uh, got a, a full-time gig and now is uh, stepping away for a little bit. Uh, we're also looking at a few other makers, and of course, uh, JB is part of our Makers Guild and sent me uh, some glitter and asked me to see what I could do with it, and you're going to see what I ended up doing with that later. So uh, he definitely gets some credit, and we'll be getting, of course, a free limited edition Kyber as a thank you. Great, great. And that's one thing I can say, uh, un unlike some of the other crafters, you know, you, you you tend to be able to do that. You tend to, when you have a, a great idea that comes out and it comes from somebody, offering them just a free one of, of that idea. I've seen that happen, um, you know, a, a few times as well, especially if it's something that's, that is, I mean, like what we're going to see tonight. So Absolutely. I love, uh, you know, giving credit. I take customs, but, you know, sometimes there's one where you just know then it's going to be uh, something you want in the shop. It's going to be popular. And, uh, you know, I like to be able to say thank you, too, for people who come to me. Because I love making ideas come to life. Uh, some of them are, are going to be real tricky here. But uh, I, I'm really looking forward to the challenge coming up. Yeah. And and, and I know that to be true because, I mean, I mean, we, we first started talking when I asked you uh, – to make one for myself, if you remember back in, in March or so. And uh, if anybody's curious, that's actually the betrayal of uh, Ben Kyber. Uh, that, that the story behind that is is when when Ben Solo, who becomes Kylo Ren, actually betrays uh, Luke Skywalker and and kills all the Padawans that he has and everybody that, he's, that, that doesn't join him as a Knight of Ren. And I reached out to Ryan to do that, and he made that one for me. So if anybody has that one, I appreciate it because that one's actually dear to my heart because of the fact that, you know, I asked you to do that one. So it comes ideas like that, people, all the time. One color with lines cut into it. Please, please. Like, you should see the ones I'm going to have to make here coming up, like on the contest. Yeah. I, I, it got, I, the Army gave me an ulcer. This is going to probably do me in, but we'll see. Some of these are really <laughs> Amazing. I'm excited to take a, a swing out. Well, let's uh, go ahead and get ready to move into showing this Kyber off. Um, I, I've, I've got a little bit of a uh, uh, lead into it, I guess you're going to say. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up there so people can see that. And then we're going to get right into the pictures and everything of this Kyber. So take a look at this guy and let, uh, 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 see how they like this. Here's what you've been looking for, the Living Force Kyber. So Ryan sent me these pictures earlier uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what we've got going on. Give you the uh, pictures of it, of what we've got. This particular Kyber is going to be his first limited edition Kyber. With this one, there's going to be 138 of these made. And that's it. 138. That'll be the run. Um, it will be available tonight on the stream. 
matter of fact uh, i believe as we're doing this ryan is is activating the uh the link on there so you guys will be able to go straight to the site and pick that up there's the card that's going to come with it ryan says that it is live uh so you'll go be able to go and get that here in just a few minutes um and the biggest thing guys and, and hopefully you're still watching you haven't jumped over to etsy yet for it unlike any other crafter out there and and i'm gonna i'm gonna jump to to this screen here after we see that here's my big thing guys no other crafter out there has offered their kyber to be ordered and delivered almost instantly okay most of you know and i'm not going to name names of anybody but there are many other crafters out there that it takes, you know, a couple weeks, a couple months to be able to get Kyvers. One of the things that Ryan and I have talked about, and he he wholeheartedly agreed, was he wanted to have all 138 of these Kyvers ready to ship out. So the orders that he starts getting today, going through the weekend, he will be prepping, he will be getting them ready to send out as of Monday. So, um, let me get back here so we can see you a little bit better as we're talking about this. And then uh, I'm going to actually show everybody the Kyber itself. And they are all made. Here they are. So, every single one of them, if you put your order in the night for it, you will get that shipped out to you on Monday. Um, you know, that that's been and i know you, uh, some of you guys may have already seen uh the review video that i did uh i should say the comparison video and that was one of my biggest pet peeves is putting an order in and having to wait a substantial amount of time to be able to get it i mean some people they just actually forget that they even have the 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 order in um and and i i just i hate not being able to to get that item until much later on so I want to say hats off to Ryan for, for going ahead and having all of these made up, all of them ready to go, all of them ready to ship out. Um, you know, I, based on, on shipping time, I mean, I would say that if you ship them out Monday, most everybody should have them probably by next weekend at the latest. Uh, now, that's one thing I should mention. Um, I live up in the tundra of Maine. Uh, it's kind of like Hawks. We're not quite there right now, but... Uh, usually shipping for me to uh, the East Coast is about two to three days. West Coast is about three to four days, depending. Um, so if they ordered this weekend, going out Monday, uh, you should have them by Friday. If you know U USPS. <laughs> uh, yeah, if deliveries get done on time. So. <laughs> All right. Well, let me uh, let me jump here to uh, to the Kyber itself. And of course, just like everything else, we have have little technical difficulties. So give me just a second here. My freaking camera for my Kyber uh, decided not to work at this moment. So I'm just gonna dance. <laughs> if I can get this thing to come on and work for us, there we go. All right. Give me just a second here to get this up. You should hurry up. I am working on it, my friend. There we go. Now it's working. Maybe. Almost. Oh, I'm in my helmet. All right, here we go. So, there it is, people. That's the Kyber. That is the new release. This Kyber, color-wise, is awesome looking. Um, I'll get. I'll, I'll let you see it on a couple different backgrounds. Just what I like about this one, honestly, Ryan, is the uh, that internal uh, proprietary sleeve you were talking about that that you've got in there for your your chips this kyber really shows that off thank you uh it's actually 
we I, I've been looking for a long time how to do some sort of inner core uh, design that would allow us a lot of different ideas, uh, especially ones that very early on would have been brought up as potential ones for us to make. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to do a clear kyber because the thing is, uh, the hardest thing to do when you're making these resin ones is to get it perfectly clear. They have these things like glass on inside and out. And it's it's hard. And it took me a while. And I wanted to be able to find one where I could showcase it. And, and I think you've done a very good job on it. Uh, the look of it, the, the way the light bounces off this. And, and I can tell you guys what you're seeing right now that I have. Just what's on camera doesn't do it justice by any means at all. Uh, when you see it in your hand and you can actually hold it and you have the light reflecting off of the kyber and all the the that that purplish blue glitter that's inside of it, it it's, it's a, a lot different. It makes it look a lot different. I tried to be able to put as much light for you guys to be able to see, but to get it close enough for, for you to really be able to get a good look at it, it, it was kind of hard to do that without having a bunch of glare and stuff. So I know one of the things that, that everybody's wanting to know about is the variant, the two options, the second option. That's what I'm fixing to show you now, guys. This is what he's referred to as the variant force depleted that you'll be able to get as well if you want to when you order this. And that's what it looks like. Got a little different coloration. Um, give it, give us, give us some information on this one. What, what do we got here? This is more of your traditional style uh, make, and for me, this was uh, I've, I've been waiting, you know, months to combine these two colors. Uh, and the other day, after I finished the last batch of the uh, Living Force Kyber, I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. And the way they came out, it, it reminded me of what a crystal would look like if it had been drained of all its energy and then just left to sit somewhere in the, you know, innate uh, metallic chemicals and such and properties that are found in crystals, just slowly overtook it over time once it was drained of its energy. And, uh, yeah, one of the big things I wanted to do with this is, I know people like chases and they like, you know, things like that. But the problem is so random, and people feel left out if they don't get one or if they uh, miss out. So anyone has the opportunity to buy one right now when they buy this Kyber. If they want this, they can buy it right now. If not, awesome. And however many people order is however many will be made. I've got about uh, 40 done right now, and I'll have about 100 done by Monday. Great. So one of the questions was, um, it, it, I, I don't, I guess... What Will's asking is, the, is it the variant option? Is this like, I guess, an option for it? Is it, I guess, like a, a chase? Or or is this going to be a completely separate Kyber that they can get uh, besides just the, 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 the Living Force? Nope. You can only buy this when you buy the Living Force. So uh, there could be up to 138 of these made. There could be seven of them made. Uh, that's all up to everyone. And uh, to answer Will's question, since your living force is already in the mail with your previous package, surprise, uh, just talk to me after the stream, and we'll figure out uh, how to get a bearing to you, too. I'll set one aside for you, of course, but. Good deal, good deal. Um, yeah, unfortunately, uh I don't have one of these to be able to show you guys uh, firsthand because it was literally uh, a, a, a text message today. Hey, what do you think about this one? And <laughs> and, and <laughs> so I, I saw it first today beforehand uh, as the uh, we were preparing for doing this stream tonight. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting my hands on one of those as well. So, um, I, Sean... I, uh, I, Sean Qualt, uh, sorry, I'm, I know I'm going to butcher your name, uh, and I do apologize. I'm just going to say Sean in here uh, says that there will be at least one of those made for him, I guess, as well. So, uh, And Jackson Jackson Miller also says to make that, too, because he's going to definitely get one. So I would say between 
right now at least four of us out here are going to be uh getting one of those from you at some point and you know that's the thing um for me as a collector i always like you know i i miss out on a couple chase type things uh from a couple, uh, two or three different uh makers of stuff and you know i just felt i don't know like i'm a completionist and i wanted to have them all so i figured if i'm gonna do a variant I'll give everyone the option to do it. Uh, after this stream tonight, I'm going to finish staying up late, design, finish designing the card for the variant. It will have its own separate card. Uh, I'll be picking those up tomorrow. I'll pack them all up with all the orders that are going out. Um, and it won't be numbered only because, like I said, I don't know how many they're going to be, and I don't expect to sell out this weekend. You know, that would be lovely, but uh, that's not expected. So it will have some sort of... Uh, very unique identifier to it, stating that it came from the Living Force Kyber. Um, I might attach it to your numbered card, which will be randomly pulled from a box, because that felt like the most fair thing to do. Put them all in sleep protectors, toss it in a box, shake it up, have kids pull them out. Um, you know, and I might link your chase card or your variant card to your uh, numbered one. That way it lines up and I can never verify if need be or whatever. Great, great. Yeah, and, and uh, Will made the comment that uh, he knows that he's definitely going to have to get one of these because I am his KRC Kyber rival. Um, <laughs> I know he and I have chatted a couple times and, and uh, made comparisons of who's got what, and he saw that I had a couple that he didn't have and turned around and uh, placed a pretty good order with you to be able to grab those other ones too. Well. I just want Will to know that I got Darth Revan, uh, my 3.75, one of my bucket list items, came in the mail today. And his variant Kyber is sitting right there, so don't worry. I've already got some done. I got to go pour another batch here when we're done off to this, too, because, you know, never work, never stop working, especially when my kids are with their mother for the weekend, so I can yeah. really work late into the night. Yeah, and, and Will actually just corrected me. That was actually for uh, the other Sean that's in that's chatting with us, not myself, even though I know that, that Will and I have actually talked about that as well. So um, there was another question that did pop up. Uh, William uh, Frankel said, yeah. uh, could there be an Ahsoka versus Temple Guard crystal for a theme in the future possible? Yeah, that's definitely one that's on the uh, chopping block or, or drawing board or whatever you want to call it. Wow, uh, I need another coffee. Yeah, um, because as everyone knows, we're kind of limited by the pairings we have with voices and by colors. Uh, how I like to look at it is you are either basing the Kyber itself has its own original story, and that's where you're drawing from, and the colors are kind of ancillary to it. Or the voices are tied into it, kind of like my twin son, where that's Maul and Obi-Wan. Um, that's definitely a pattern we intend to be doing more of. Uh, Ahsoka, or, yeah, Ahsoka versus Temple Guard is one out there. Uh, we have a Maul versus Qui-Gon we will be doing. Um, that will be the third one that will have sand in it, because my buddy sent me 26 pounds of sand. I still have a bunch, but uh, we're... <laughs> We're going to do two more ones with uh, Tatooine Sand in it. We're going to do Qui-Gon vs. Maul, and we're going to do the fall of Anakin uh, about where his mom dies. So that's oh. going to be... Uh, we're not sure if those are going to be normal releases yet, special edition, or limited, uh, because Sand is one of those things where that is a finite resource that I do eventually will run out of. And we want to keep Twin Sons as a constant release, even though it's uh, no longer in special edition. Um, and the Qui-Gon Maul will probably be one that uh, we keep as a regular edition. The Fall of Anakin will probably, if I had to guess, be a limited edition. Great. I, I, dude, that, that Fall of Anakin sounds really good. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward especially to seeing that one. And, and I mean, I, I know a lot of people that, that collect the sabers, like, you know, what you see behind me that I've done. I'm, I'm yeah, I, I know you got a couple of them yourself as well <laughs> in there. Um, hoping for that Qui-Gon from Galaxy's Edge at some point. Uh, that would be, I, uh, I 3D printed one for myself recently because I, I got a thing to make a saber wall. And Qui-Gon was one of those I had to print uh, Ventress because I don't have any yet. 
uh, there's a few others. Uh, Kyle Tatan, or Kyle Tataran, excuse me, Revan's second saber. Oh, I love lightsabers, yeah. Ooh. Yep. And uh, we'll talk later on about that, uh, that Ventress. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Um, and of course, Will did correct me again. He was actually talking to me. Don't know. I mean, we're all hybrid collectors in here. That that's the whole thing, you know. <laughs> we just, I'm excited about about what's coming down the pipe from Ryan and KRC. Um, the next thing I really want to get into that I know that some people are are interested in as well is the contest. Uh, oh, to see what the final five was for the contest. So um, just a second to get that pulled up here. And we will go with this. So we have, uh, looks like from Jasmine Thomas, Thompson, sorry, uh, the Lothcat Eye Kyber. Uh, we've got the Dyad from Michael Hill. Uh, we have one from Robert Young, the Aslan Kai, I guess that's what it would be called. I'm horrible with trying to pronounce stuff, so if, <laughs> if I got it wrong, bear with me. Um, then there's one from Tim French. Uh, I don't see the name. It's probably uh, down in the caption that I just I can't read. It's pretty small. Um, I have to go back and look at that again. Um, sorry, I'm looking at it on my other screen that's over to the side. And then uh, we've got the Holocron Fusion from Jackson Miller in our stream that actually uh, have already been made, um, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm correct, right? Yep. The Holocron Fusion has already been made, so that one uh, is already out of the running. What we're going to do is we're going to take the last four here. We're going to have everyone vote to see which one they want to be the first release from us because I intend to make all four remaining Kybers. Uh, I am scared on some of them. Uh, <laughs> Just looking at the uh, pictures, I can see that some of them are going to be very challenging. Yeah. Um, I've done some prototypes on a few. Uh, you know, I like to learn, so those were good. Uh, one of the ones, like Michael Hill's um, it reminds me a lot of one of the earliest ideas I remember having, which by me having, I know Will's going to say it was his idea. So uh, <laughs> it is a uh, like a Mustafar style Kyber. You know, you've got the, the lava rock and the varying levels of fire, lava, all that. Um, and I have a real good idea of how I'm going to do that one. That one might have like a uh, like a deconstructed look to it, um, while still having the elements. I, I'm really excited for that one. Um, the one with no name that is a complete rainbow. Uh, I think I'm going to be able to do that one. I've done a prototype. I think it should come out. It's just how hard is that going to be to replicate on a major basis? That could be like a very very limited edition. Right. Uh, uh, and what else do we have on there? We've got the Loath Cat, um, which that one's going to be fun. That one's going to require me to really look at how to use browns and light and burnt oranges, excuse me, uh, in a different manner and how to find a way to make them work. And I, I, I'm almost as excited about that one as some of the others, just because of what a challenge it's going to be. And then the last one, uh, I can't say the name for it either, so forgive me, but I love the colors on it. Uh, color shifting is one of the big things I've always loved as a medium. So I have a couple ideas on that one. Uh, we're going to prototype and test a few different, uh, from a few different uh, suppliers, a few different things. But uh, I intend to make all of them. All the winners will eventually get a free one. Uh, shipping will just have to be taken care of because I've sent out a lot of free ones already. Uh, but uh, other than that, yeah. And they'll have cards made up and everything for them. So thank you, everyone who entered, first off. And uh, I'm excited to try and bring your ideas to life. Yeah, and, and uh, knowing that uh, Jackson was in here, I wanted to kind of show um, his Holocron Fusion. It, it, it didn't actually end up being just one single Kyber. Um, if I'm not mistaken, 
Or did, did, is that one of the ones you are you had already sent me? I think. I believe so. It's the red and green one. Um. Yeah. I'm sorry. I had I had a completely different set of Kyber sitting here in front of me. I apologize for that. No I, worries. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the one that I've got here is the one. Let's see. That one there. Yep. That's the holocron fusion kyber right there yeah and that has a green that is just gorgeous yeah it, it looks really good um the ones i was thinking of are, are actually uh a couple of the glowing colored ones that you that uh you would i'd gotten at my hands yeah. on from you the uh the aurora kyber set yes which yes we we will be doing the Matching set to breaking live here on the Kyber Curator. Uh, we'll be making the uh, green and blue variants of those uh, using the old school powdering. So they'll still look white, but they'll glow and they'll be the same very fast glow powder. Like these things only need a moment of light and they last and I love them. Yeah, I, I've noticed, um, and I'm going to show those, those, uh, those Aurora ones here real quick for you. I've noticed when I uh, when I walked out of out of my room here where I have all my Kybers at that they're sitting there glowing on the counter, you know, or on my desk that I've got. But I believe those are the ones that you're referring to, correct? That's correct. So you've got your uh, red and your green. And the ones that we'll be doing is more of uh, like the yellowish color and then a uh, blue. Okay. Good deal. Uh, let's see. Looking to see if there was any other questions that popped up. Uh, see a bunch of different comments that are on here that I'm looking through. Uh, nothing as far as I can see of actual just comment or uh, questions. So um, I guess from there. Uh, Anything else to, that you got for us before we uh, we we end everything tonight? Uh, no, other than uh, the Eye of Bendu will be coming soon as well. The Eye of Bendu, man. Yeah. Did you did you get that from uh, from some scavengers page that we won't <laughs> that, that we'll leave nameless that uh, got you a bunch of your your lightsabers at some point? <laughs> Once you get caught up to Rebels, you'll know Bendu is, uh, he is perhaps the greatest one of all, and uh, I think we're going to do it in a way that allows people to hear Bendu's voice in the holocron without having to put them together, so it's going to be kind of fun. Oh. Something a little outside. That would be interesting to see to be able to have it, have that done. I'll be looking forward to that one, so. Keep you up to date for sure. Yeah, Will, Will definitely says that uh, he, he definitely needs to know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway uh man ryan I, I really really appreciate you coming on here tonight um you know I, for me it's it's been a pleasure to talk with you i know we chat often but i mean to be, be able to really get to know you even more than than what i've gotten to know you and our our conversations has been great um i'm hoping that the people that have been watching have uh have enjoyed it tonight, um, you know, and I look forward to, to doing more of these with you. I mean, it, heck, you get new stuff that you want coming out, man. Hit me up definitely, and we'll we'll, we'll do some more of these reveal release video or uh, live streams like this. Hey, I appreciate it. I've had fun, man. You know, I got to set up this uh, LED ring and stand thing, and uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm one of them young kids now. You know, even I'm pushing 37 and barely got this up without any help so you know but hey it's been fun <laughs> yeah great man um to answer your question will that you just popped up i'm working on one now um i'm doing gonna be doing he will's question was is when is my next youtube video coming out uh i've been working on them i'm trying to get some stuff done i i i if you saw my desk right now of uh, just how it looks um with all the stuff i've got just thrown around at this point of kybers that are all over the place uh from all the crafters i have got 
I've got so many videos and review videos to do uh, to showcase all of the, the, the great stuff that these guys have created that it's going to take me quite a while. But uh, my, my big thing is, is, is to, I, I'm unfortunately a perfectionist. I don't like putting something out that I don't think is going to be good for people, that they're going to look at it and go, oh, this looks cheesy, I'm done. I want to give you guys something and, and the quality of video that you're going to enjoy. Um, so a lot of my delays have been trying to get equipment to be able to give you guys a good view. Um, cause if you looked and saw the, the pictures or the, or the, the live feed I gave you looking at the Kyber tonight compared to what I had in my comparison video that I did a little while back, big difference, completely different camera, uh, better resolution because I want you guys to be able to see the details and, and everything so that you can see all of the, the passion and hard work that, that these crafters are putting into these things. So they will be coming up uh, soon, um, trying to find you know, the, the, the time to be able to fit it in where I, I don't get halfway through my video and my dogs start playing and barking and, and just ruin everything and I have to start over. Um, <laughs> that's been a lot of it. So. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely get some more of those up for you guys here real soon. A lot more of, of, of Ryan's stuff that, that, that he's put out there for us. So, um, Michael Hill asked if you're going to reveal the winners, um, tonight from the contest, or are you going to save that for a, a, a notification on the Facebook pages or, or what do you, what's your plans with letting people know who actually got the most votes on, on there in that top five? Out of the top five, I don't know if you were here for the part where we went over, Mike, uh, Michael, excuse me. Uh, but we've got the top five, which yours is in it. Uh, we're going to vote on which one. Everyone's going to vote which one they want to see as the first one released. From there, uh, the rest of them will probably, uh, I can't say all of them are going to get a full release, but I am going to make all of them. Uh, I, as I mentioned on yours, uh, it's one of the ones I'm working on with ideas. I have a... Uh, to borrow a term from Chopped, I'm going to deconstruct it in a sense. I have a real good idea on yours. Uh, but yeah, uh, all five of the winners will have their Kybers made and uh, they'll each be receiving one for free. Uh, and that's something I'll be working on here over the next month or so. Uh, I've been prototyping for a while now. What I did is I went early on uh, when I saw which ones were already gaining momentum and steam and I started prototyping, trying to play with new ideas, new concepts, new methods seeing how I could do that. So it's not like I'm starting from scratch, but we're not quite there 100%, so I still need another week or two before I have at least one of them hammered out. Uh, and I can tell you, Michael, yours will be one of the first ones out there regardless, so. Good to hear. I know Michael will be, uh, be really excited to be able to see his idea come to life, so to speak. It's a, and it's, I, I think it's gonna look good. I recently figured out how to do it. I've been like, soul searching on that one. The other one's just giving me ulcers, like rainbows everywhere. Like I've already, I'm making a pride Kyber uh, by special request. So thankfully that kind of ties in easy to that, but it's a huge hard one to make. Uh, but my ones where I've been sitting down really trying to think about how to do it and make it feel, you know, like it, uh, like it's something from a lava, like it has that effect. And I think using some of the methods we use here in the new living force Kyber is gonna help with that, so. So I think uh, the, the big, the, with all of that, I think the answer to your question, Michael, is is the top five, the, the only, uh, as far as the contest go, everybody won. Everybody's going to get their Kyber made, at least for them individually. Um, it, it, I guess it's just going to depend on how long it takes Ryan to figure out how to make it to what it's something that that he wants to send, that he's, he's pleased with the way it turned out. Um, and I guess the, the the top five is basically going to be just which ones made first. And what uh, I guess those are the ones that are mainly going to be made available on your Etsy page in the future, right? For other people to be able to purchase. Is that what it is? It's a full release uh, right to the Etsy page. Um, you know, right offhand, I can tell you if I had to pick, uh, it'd probably be the Holocron Fusion because I already did it. No, just kidding. Uh <laughs> Uh, Michael's, uh, Robert's, 
Uh, Jasmine's is one that I need a little bit more time with. That one, I really, the Loath Cat one, uh, is going to take some extra stuff. Uh, and I'm having a brain. Oh, and the Rainbow one, which, like I said, I'll, I'll eventually get to. But I, I really think between Robert and Michaels, those two will be the first ones made. And uh, hopefully out to them first and foremost, because I can't wait to see what they think. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know when when you sent me my uh, portrayal of Ben, I, uh, and I got that one in before anybody, you know, before it was made available on your page. You know, when that that thing showed up and and what I envisioned was in my hand. I mean, it, it meant a lot, you know, just to see, you know, that my idea was actually made. It's there, you know. So that that's that's definitely cool. That's why I do it. You know, want to help bring these ideas to life and you know give people. Uh, a little piece of their own perfect thing, you know, whether that be just, you know, a grown adult like me who's dreamed of going to somewhere like Galaxy's Edge and, you know, doing this their entire life, or a kid who's cosplaying and has a great idea for their character, or anything in between. I, I love the idea. I love hearing from people the stories behind it and what they do with it, uh, and that's one of the best parts, besides getting to work with my kids, uh, which I mentioned earlier. Some of you will get a living force kyber that has a little bit more glitter than others uh and those are handmade by my daughter so know that those ones are made by an eight-year-old who made it with extra loving care great and heavy 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 glitter in it <laughs> <laughs> all right well we're gonna go ahead and uh and end this i mean we we are like right at an hour that we've been going on here yeah i i didn't expect it, that we'd been here that long and uh and and talking but i mean you know i guess when you when you have a passion for something you enjoy collecting something that somebody has a passion for sitting there talking about it i mean you kind of lose track of time <laughs> uh that's all right no i had a great time but i can't wait to do it again with you sometime absolutely all right guys we appreciate it uh thank you for for uh hanging out with us tonight uh we'll look forward to doing the next one we will whenever that comes up um put another event on the pages and share it out there for you guys to be able to see and um hopefully we'll get some more uh viewers than we got tonight you know i know i didn't expect a lot tonight with it being the first one um but this will be available for on-demand viewing through uh the facebook page and i plan on pulling it off and throwing it onto my youtube channel as well so we'll be able to have it on there so um again thank you ryan i appreciate you showing up tonight and uh and talking with us and thank you, Sean. Uh, and and we'll talk to all you guys at a later time thank you for showing up and may the force be with you always